Active campaign add to list. In this video, I'm going to show you kind of a one scenario to consider when you're trying to add somebody to a list. Adding someone to a list is easy. Um, you can do it via automation, web form, whatever. However, if you have the situation where somebody has unsubscribed from the list and they're no longer on any list in your account, you can't add them to any list via automation. And via automation is kind of the key there. Um, that's not allowed. So what happened and what we do? Well, let me show you. Inside Active Campaign, we've got this purchase automation. Someone makes a purchase, they get put into here, and then we do a bunch of tag cleanup. We add tag, re uh, remove tag, add tags, put them on a list, put them into an automation and end. So that's nice, clean, nothing fancy. That's what we were using and would expect it to work. However, certain people weren't getting put onto a list. So we made some changes based on information that Active Campaign supports provided, and we ended up with something like this. Now it's not the exact same uh, automation, but it's the same format where we remove tags, add tags, put them on a list, put them in an automation, and in. However, we threw in this nasty if-then logic, and I'll show you what's going on here in just a second. But one thing we had to do was for every list, we create an automation where if somebody unsubscribes from a list, they get an unsubscribe tag and then they get held. Now, if they ever subscribe again, they then get passed along through the rest of the automation, which then removes that tag. So as long as they're unsubscribed, they have this tag called this. So for every list, we built an automation. So this is kind of an argument to keep your list to a minimum. Now, the reason we did that is back in here, this what used to be a nice clean automation turned into this jumbled conversation or if statements. Now also, they are these are two different if statements. My preference would have been to keep it in one. However, there is limitations on how many conditions you can check in an if conditional statement for active campaign. So we broke it into two, but it's broken at a kind of a natural spot and I'll show you what's going on here. So just bear with me here and just kind of read through. We did a lot of knots in here. So as long as they're not in any of the list and they do not have any of these tags, pass them along and get them on the list. That will work. And what this is basically picking off is people that have never been in this active campaign account. They haven't been on any list, nor do they have any tag that says they've unsubscribed. So they're good to get added to the list. The next condition, and this I would have ORed with that whole condition we just looked at was, are they in any list? So at this point, it's possible that they have an unsubscribe tag for one or many of the lists, but not all of the list. So they may be unsubscribed from three lists, have three unsubscribe tags, but be in one of these lists. That's okay too. Then we ship them over here and then put them through here. They do get added to list. Now, Everybody who doesn't meet those conditions, that means they've been on at least one list and they've unsubscribed from at least one list and they're not on any list. Now, what we've done is a little manual stuff. We send a notification to the support people. They will manually add them to the list. That's very doable. Um, but you know what, interestingly, we still want to pass them through here. Even though they're not going to get added, I just want to capture the history. So if something changes in the future, an active campaign can changes the way they do it, um, you know, we don't have to change anything. So that's how we're adding people to list with the condition that they may have unsubscribed at one time. 